Hi everyone, Brian Fraser here from Adams and Systems. We hope you're enjoying the Blueprint tutorial video series, and if you have any questions, please contact blueprint at adamsandsystems.com. In this episode of the Blueprint tutorial video series, you will learn how to place virtual arrays in your environment. Completing tutorial videos 1 and 2 results in having a space that looks like this. To get started hanging virtual arrays, select the Cabinet sub-tab. Select the plus symbol next to Cabinet Group to add an array group. Name your array group under Group Name. Under Initial Type, you can choose if your Cabinet Group will be flown or stacked, and under Initial Activation, you can choose whether the Cabinet Group will be activated. Activating your Cabinet Group determines its use in simulation. Pressing the plus symbol next to Cabinet will add an array to your array group. Once your array is added, you have several options available to you. The name of your array will default to the number 1. Right-click on the number 1 and choose Rename to rename your array. Under Type, you have the option of choosing Y Array, which is all of our line array products, Sub, which is a single subwoofer, Subarray, which is an array of subwoofers, and Point Source Box. Box number refers to the amount of boxes in a single array. The mirror function mirrors your array across the X or Y axis. However, since we are using the 2D mode, this is not active. Delay, gain, and polarity are available if you wish to affect these attributes for the entire array. To the right, you will see an assortment of options, including one labeled box type. Change box type to E15. Back to your left, change the box number to 12. You will now see that you have 12 E15s available in your array. Above the listing of enclosures in your array, you will see the options available to you for your rigging frame. The drop-down menu at the top, labeled F, allows you to choose your rigging frame configuration. The X, Y, and Z coordinate fields refer to the position of your rigging frame. The H and V coordinate fields refer to the horizontal and vertical angle your rigging frame will be hung at. Blueprint allows for you to add underhangs within the same array. To do so, select E12 for box number 10. You will automatically change everything below box number 10 to E12. The angle field allows you to change the individual angle of each box within the array. In the case of the E15, 0 through 7 are available. Note that the angle field does not represent the physical angle of the box, but rather the rigging position. The actual angle of the box is reflected in the vertical angle field to the right of the angle field. Finally, the gain field allows you to alter the gain of individual boxes within the array. Be careful to only alter gain in groups that reflect how you are amplifying the array. Please stay tuned for part two of Hanging Virtual Arrays.